Let's go back to the Doppler 10 forecast. We had a few crisp, cool mornings out there. A little warm up is on the way. Meteorologist Madison Reich is tracking when. And you're also looking at this blanket of clouds that kind of falls over the skyline right now. Yeah, yeah, it's being really stubborn too. It's going to take some time to get out of here. But luckily this afternoon, I think just as we head into like four or five, okay. we should get a brief glimpse of the sun. Just a so, glimpse of it? Yeah, just, just a quick little look. <laughs> Don't blink, you'll miss it? Yeah, pretty okay. much, pretty much. But hey, we'll see at least a little bit. We've got more in store for tomorrow, though. These clouds are going to be working their way out over the next 24 hours, giving us some more sunshine through the uh, most of your Wednesday, in fact. But these clouds will be keeping us generally on the cooler side. We have seen our winds turn a little bit, which is going to help us warm up through today compared to where we were yesterday. Yesterday, we struggled to get out of the lower 50s. Today, we're going to end in the upper 50s. In fact, most of us are already sitting in the middle 50s. We're already about two degrees warmer than we were this time yesterday. So we're sitting at 53 right now in Columbus, 51 in Lancaster, 53 in Logan, New Lexington, 52, 50 in Bell Fountain, and still a couple 40s out there, 49 right now in Bucyrus. So it's been a pretty chilly start to the week. And as we head through the rest of the day, again, starting that warming trend, we've got temperatures climbing back into the mid 50s here within the next little bit. Highs today, upper 50s. A couple spots could briefly creep into the lower 60s too, depending on how fast we get these clouds out of here. But here we are at five, seeing a little bit more sunshine now this afternoon with the latest model runs actually bringing that cloud cover out just a little bit earlier, which is good news if you want to see the sun today. As we head into the overnight, skies continue to clear and that's going to help our temperatures drop quite a bit. So it is going to be a chilly start for most areas, especially off to the northwest here where those clouds are staying out of the area. So clear skies, calm winds overnight give us those chilly temps. So most of us are going to be waking up in the 40s by early tomorrow morning. But we warm up pretty quickly because the sun's going to be out. So we do see those temperatures climb back into the lower 60s by the end of the day tomorrow. So continuing that warming trend that we got started today. Now, Thursday will be the warmest day of the week, but it's also going to be when rain comes back into the forecast because, of course, we're staying dry today. We say dry tomorrow. But there is a weak front that's going to be rolling through late as we head through Thursday. It does bring some showers and it will be continuing that rain into Friday and Saturday as well, but it's also going to be dropping our temperatures. So here's an early look at that. It does get going by seven o'clock in the morning for portions of the state on Thursday, but it's going to take more of the day to see it finally roll into central Ohio. It's not going to be an all day rain event and it's not going to be super heavy showers, but they will be out there at times and it is going to leave behind some messy stuff. These isolated showers after the fact that continue into Friday and into portions of the weekend. So it's not going to be a washout over those three days, but it will be. We kind of have to keep the umbrella handy and those temperatures continue to fall too. So we're back down to the 40s and 50s as we head into Saturday. So game time going to be a little cool and we are watching for a chance for a couple showers later in the afternoon on Saturday. So overall, not too bad of a forecast. We've got temperatures in the 50s today, 60s tomorrow, 60s by Thursday. Then we start the cooling trend as those showers roll in. They do stick around again as we head through Friday, Saturday, much drier by Sunday. We keep those dry skies as we head into next week with temperatures holding into the 60s, some upper 60s in store by the end of next week.